up, El Chivo here. Today we're going to learn how to test a thermostat for free. So here's what you need. Here's your thermostat. Pull it out of my 87 Samurai. It's an 82 degree Celsius, which is a, uh, it's like a 180 Fahrenheit. I'll put that. Uh, uh. In a pot of water. One of my favorite recipes. Just enough to submerge it. You know? Enough water to submerge it. And you just turn the stove on. Fucking sit around. Now. Let's see here. This little spot right there, that whole circle, should open up and that should drop down. And that would, uh, in your cooling system, allow the coolant to flow through. So, uh, you just kind of sit around here, you know, this is the way it would be installed. You got your spring on the bottom, you got a little point on the top. And this is the spot that goes on the manifold, that sits on the manifold and then gasket on top. But, uh, yeah, so on mine, it wasn't, it was hot, engine was hot, but the, uh, opened up the radiator, radiator cap while it was running and it wasn't circulating at all. So I figured shit could be bad water pump, blockage in the cooling lines in the block, or a bad thermostat. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I took took out my fucking thermostat and uh, put it put it back on, ran it without the thermostat in there, and um, took off the cap and then was watching the coolant flow so it actually was moving around so that means my water pump's cool and then my cooling system even if it's a little blocked up from rust because it's a fucking 87 um, it might not be uh, it's not going to be those things because it's you know circulating through so it's fine and this is the cheapest way to test that shit rather than taking off all your shit you know uh, I will have to get a new gasket, it's probably like four bucks. Maybe a new thermostat, ten bucks, but uh, until then, this is the cheap and easy way. Is that? Yeah, it's pretty hot already. Add a little seasoning. Wow. Still looks blue, doesn't it? Looks red to me. Quite often thermostats will fail after use and quite often they'll fail or once in a while they'll fail straight out of the box. You know, sometimes they just get a bad one because the uh, actual spring at the bottom is what uh, is like heat sensitive metal. Sometimes it's not uh, sensitive enough. But shit, this is a free test that you can do in your house. I don't think you can microwave it <laughs> if you don't have a stove. But you know what you can do? You can get a bowl, bowl of hot water, stick it in the microwave till it's boiling, and then drop your thermostat in after. As long as it's wicked hot. You'll be good. That's way past 180 for sure. Let's take it over where we can see it.
Yeah, there it is. It's actually open pretty far. So this thermostat is good. And there's your test. There.